Yeah, I want to f- welcome all the live viewers because it is a big night, obviously, the national championship. But don't forget the solar eclipse five minutes ago, six minutes ago, to be exact, here in Virginia, it started the clip. The next two hours, it's in the process. So I'm taking precautions nice. here while we do the show just to be careful. And I've got my zombie baseball bat also because I don't quite understand how this eclipse thing works. But from my understanding, I could be in some danger. So Dan, of course, was preemptive and moved to California a year ago to get away from the eclipse. So that was a good Smart. move. Dan Alexander, and you also might be getting away from your Phillies, right? Because they just lost to not my Washington Nationals yesterday on Sunday. And it's interesting, you know, Marcus, don't talk about the Marlins are the worst team in the league, one and nine straight up. They got their lone win yesterday against St. Louis. We've talked about this a lot. We don't do shows on Sunday, and it's probably a good thing we don't do the MLB show on Sunday because that is the bizarro day, um, a day ahead of the eclipse. Maybe they were starting to feel it because both the Nationals and Marlins won as road dogs yesterday, or as underdogs, rather, yesterday and one thing the nationals did against your phillies was run on first move they had five stolen bases in that three two when they really had to manufacture runs because they didn't hit the ball well they only had eight hits so phillies have been getting really good pitching in fact the last seven games your philadelphia phillies have allowed eight hits or less problem is the phillies have not had more than nine hits in any game this season and despite going over the first five uh, things have come back around now they've gone under four straight I do like the under in this game, especially it's, it's, it's sitting on that key number of nine. And we got to talk about Spencer Turnbull as well. He missed all of 2022, obviously, with the Tommy John surgery. And then he was kind of snake bit last year with various injuries, I think a neck and a toe injury. So he really has not been full throttle for over two years now. So, yes, we got to kind of be careful with him, but we also might find some value with him now if he is fully healthy. And if his opening day start, his first start of the season, rather, back on April 2nd last week, last Tuesday, is any indication, um, he's pitching pretty well. Um, it was against a decent Cincinnati offense. He went five innings, gave up only three hits and one, uh, one run. It was unearned, so no earned runs. Seven strikeouts, no walks. So really like what we saw from Turnbull last week, and I think that's another reason the early sharp money today has come in on Philly. Uh, they went from a dollar five, dollar ten underdog to now a minus 105 minus 110 road favorite so i agree with the money move on philly and i would lean under nine as well on that key number